Hi everyone, welcome to KVK again, and here we've got K39 versus K137. I'm not going to lie to you, this was a very, very boring KVK. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we've got IKW and K39 in BDR and K39 and in K137 ATD. And as you know, RKW and ATD are allies, so there was actually no fighting in this KVDK, or very little fighting. If we have a look at the alliance points over here, you can see there at the top we've got Dragon League, ATD coming in in first place, um, scoring the most amount of points, really sitting in all of the great castles. And we've got RKW coming in there in second place and in third place trailing very much behind was BDR from K39 and then some of the German army who are in K137 coming through there. So well done to ATD. In terms of solo points scored you can see there coming out right on the top is Nightbreaker from ATD. There we go, Nightbreaker from ATD, gold everything. Good job. Second place, we've got Nightclub. There we go, Nightclub coming in in second place, doing a good job from ATD. In third place, again, ATD. It is mainly ATD points coming through, Azor Ahay. Um, and in fourth place, ATD again, Night Nurse coming through there. Good job, and as you can see there, it's all K137, K137, and there we go. In 12th place from BDR, we got Kenny coming in there and doing some points. And yeah, I landed up coming 63, and you can see I've got a very low points there. Um, just doing a little bit above the bare minimum by gathering. Um, yeah, quite boring. So the kills, there we've got BDR Kenny coming in in first place. Um, so he was the, they were the best player for the solo points. And you can see most of the points were then scored by killing. And then some of the ATD players coming in there. There's Imperial Rock doing some damage, Smart Vac, Smart Vac are coming in there doing some damage, and Nightclub again in fourth place, and then we've got some more of the K39 from AKW Dojo Jang, good job. and some of the other players. So really good job to everybody. And for fighting, as you can see, there are not many RKWs there because yeah, we were gathering or doing nothing. And there we can see Night Breezer coming in there. Um, good job, Night Breezer. They were scored the most amount of points for K137. Um, Perhaps then a shout out then to Drop Soap from RKW doing a great job. I think it must have been their best KVK. Um, but yeah, good job overall. And there we can see in terms of alliance points, there's ATD really being on top, scoring the most amounts of points. And in fifth place, we've got RKW. Um, yeah, surprising. Um, RKW there, and then I did see BDR. There we go, we have BDR coming in in 77th place. Um, so yeah, for gathering KVK, um, not a bad job.
In terms of the Great Castles, there we can see RKW keeping hold of King Landing. Otherwise, all of the other castles going to ATD. And that was by arrangement that RKW kept King's Landing. And there we can see RKW sitting up for really the most amount of time. Um, yeah, great when you play with your allies. And if we have a look at K137, there we can see K137 managing to hold on to all of their castles, and in particular King's Landing. So good job to them. And there you can see really keeping up for the most amount of time. So all in all, I think it was a pretty boring KVK. Um, but yeah, when you play KVK mm -hmm. so many times, you're bound to end up playing with your allies. And then rather play with them than against them. So good job, everyone. Till next time.